Okay, Otaku Tour Guide here, and um, like I said, I got some comics off of eBay, and so we're just going to open them up. I haven't really looked at them, this is my, got it this morning, um, and then, uh, you know, just it's been a stressful week at work. I'll uh, just put my kid to bed. He's still up, though. You might hear him in the background, but um, yeah, just kind of... Um, doing some just uh, kind of winding down from what's been a, a pretty stressful week and so uh, what's helping is um, just kind of doing these just um, you know looking over and talking about comics and just kind of enjoying this this hobby that uh that I'd, I'm just really, you know, just glad to have um, reconnected with. So um, basically, what I bought off online is um, Jim Lee's entire run of Superman. Yeah, Volume Two Superman. That that runs from two o four to two thirteen. Um, there are some Turner variant covers in this. Um, those I don't particularly care for, um, but apparently they're the more um, rare copies. But, um, you know, I don't, for me, it's it's about having the Jim, Jim Lee cover. But um, let's just go through these comics. Um, so they're probably gonna be out of order. So we, there's 208. Oh, we have another 208. That's interesting. Uh, we got a 207. Hmm. 206. 205. That's a great cover right there. 205. This is the variant. Uh, 205. That is um, Michael Turner variant. 204. Now this is, uh, I have three cop. this is my third copy. Actually, no, my fourth copy. Um, so let me back up. I actually have this full run. Um, I bought it when it first came out. And, but it's at my parents' place and I have yet to, they, they kind of live far away. So um, at some point I will make my way to, I'm hoping, um, uh, next year, sometime next year, I'll, I'll make my way there and just pick up a lot of, um, I have comics, I have manga, I have like toys, um, I have a bunch of Gundam that I built, but I don't know if I, going to bother bringing those back because they're kind of um, fragile and um, there's a lot of them so I don't know if I can bring back all those Gundam but um, yeah there's uh, some trade paperbacks like there's the Gunslinger um, comic series the Stephen, the Stephen King um, and I believe it's J. Lee uh, comic really really beautiful uh, art and and it is based off the Glensinger series um, sort of the um, you know how the Gunslinger comes to be is his uh, days as a youth um, really really good story and that story I think is outlined in was it drawing of the three or no no what was it no it was like um, I think it was the fourth book where um anyway where his the love roland's love um is killed by the man in black so anyway uh, i digress greatly so um here's 209 this is a great cover that that one we haven't had so i'm just glad to get that and these great wonder woman covers so these are all high grade copies and i'm just i'm not going to go over to the grades um maybe i will at some point but 
just just not going to go over them now. And um, 212, this is also another great cover. These are nice copies. And um, so the comics at my parents' place, the, the full run at my parents' place, um, are reader copies. <laughs> In fact, I read them. I, I, I know they're reader copies because I read them. And I, I, when I got them, um, I purchased the entire like lot. I didn't buy them individually as they came out. I bought them as a lot. So they were already kind of, I would say, in very fine condition. Um, but then I read them. I, I mean, I, I read them carefully. I didn't like just, you know, like abuse the, the books. But um, uh, yeah, they were read carefully and then they put them back in the bags. But I know the condition of those books are not, probably not high grade. I mean, they're decent books, but they're not high grade books. This is 213, and then this is the last one. This is all, this is, um, yeah, this is a Jim Lee. Great Jim Lee cover there. So all of these covers are just really, really just, um, I mean, <laughs> what more can I say about Jim Lee? I think, um, he he will go down as um one of the greats in the industry um just due to the fact that um he has the best selling comic of all time which is that that x men one but he's also had just um an amazing uh, career and you know he's still I mean he's not um, he's sort of in a he's the creative director at DC so he's not pumping out comic books anymore um, he's doing more just cover art and um, you know he's doing a lot of like public appearances like you know doing comic cons and um, I'm sure he has a he probably has some kind of foundation that he's gonna start and he's probably gonna you know do more work for that foundation but um yeah he, uh, he's not he like a lot of his other contemporaries um they're just not <laughs> pumping out comics anymore I mean at the rate they used to they've said the you know i would say all his like image cronies are are more in this sort of you know they're in a they're into developing projects and and, and using the, their content the, their creations and content to you know um basically um market and franchise uh uh, market and franchise things outside of comics whether they be toys whether they be you know um, movies television but um, Jim Lee has focused on really I think just um, bringing about bringing back sort of uh, um comic-centric culture at DC so I, I mean a lot of the um, the DC universe uh, in terms of the, the comic storylines there it's kind of reminiscent of what, what you used to see um, you know at Marvel <laughs> to be honest um, and so this is this is right around the time he return to DC but if you look from from like this period to today there's been a lot of um, progress uh, in DC books and so I just uh, say kudos to him and um, I think uh, you know DC 
you know, don't count DC out. I think, you know, Superman, Batman, um, and Green Lantern, um, Flash, you know, they, they just sort of kind of like, they didn't manage their, um, they didn't manage their collateral uh, all that well compared to Marvel. But um, I don't, when you talk about these characters, they're still relevant to comic collectors. And so for me, as, as much as I love Spider-Man, as much as I love uh, X-Men, those are, you know, those are comics I grew up reading and they're, they're part of, you know, um, what I collect now, that a big part of what I collect now, um, my, my favorite superhero all the time remains Superman. And Superman, uh, Batman also remains a, a big part of what I read and collected, um, growing up. So, um, and you know, those other characters, Flash, um, Black Adam, um, they, they've all have, I have, you know, at Aquaman, you know, Justice League, the Legion of Doom, the, the, what is it, Justice League of America, the Hall of Justice, <laughs> remember that cartoon? Um, but anyway, those, those characters, um, were important growing up, uh, you know, for me as a child and that they remain important to me um, as I collect a hobby and so for me of all the Jim Lee runs um, in terms of he you know Jim Lee's done Batman he's done Superman he's done his, his, his stint with Image and of course he's done like the Punisher X-Men Wolverine he's done a few covers for Wolverine he's done this and that um if you I think X-Men's what made what made his career but for me as a fan um it's this one right here and mind you that these comics are not worth anything oftentimes you can get these for you know a dollar to two dollars um which is fine by me I, I i don't mind picking up more copies but i don't think i have to i think i have this um high grade in the full run which is kind of what was the goal and i got this for 17 dollars. can you believe that 17 dollars for 12 comics that's about a dollar a comic and so for me, that's great. And these are all high grade. So um, if these ever go up in value, um, we know we can get them graded and they'll come back high grades. So yeah, that was um, my comic run. So I'm just going to go through the books again. Um, I'll put them in order. I'm going to save that, gem save, save that gem Gemini mount mailer for... Um, potential future sales of any books so this is the last book 214 213 212 211 210 29 204 goes there 205 goes there 205 goes there 206 207 and we got two copies of 208 for some reason um i don't know if that's a mistake or what not that i mind i've got like three copies of this <laughs> i don't really mind because this is another great cover um but anyway 208 okay we go 207 206 205 We'll keep the ver the Turner variant there, and finally, two o four. And this is, I think, similar grade, maybe a little better than um, what was submitted to CGC. 
So, I mean, my, my other copy was pretty clean, and, and this is also a very nice copy, though. I should have probably got gotten this sign, but again, you know, it is what it is. I, I already got that book signed, so, yeah, there we go, the full run of Jim Lee Superman. It's been something I've been wanting to complete, and I did it in one shot off of eBay for 17 bucks, so mission accomplished and these are these just these are just going part of the pc now and so i need to find <laughs> i need to go and get another little binder um to put these in and uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow and um yeah for now i'm just gonna wrap up this video and thank you for watching <laughs>